Uh, uh, first thing I said. Uh, you, all eat, right. you eating tainted dark meat, mofo. You eating tainted meat. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is obviously the first uh, commercial break. <laughs> we made it through the first part. So what we said last time was true. It came true. Um, we'll talk about everything later. I just want to start this off. Welcome to the Vlogging Dead. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. I hope that you enjoy our new backdrop. I finally got it kind of like rigged. I did it within the last five minutes. Anyway, it is time for the Vlogging Dead. What did you think of the episode and the synapses as a whole? I kind of knew what was coming up because of the comics and everybody was talking about the comics online. And um, and uh, it, it was going to be a slaughter and Rick was going to slaughter the termites. It was fa fantastic. And, and I, I, I kind of knew what was coming up. Sorry, that's our son. I love it when it's when the episode started out and Gareth talking about all the walkers that are inside the school and the glass has got to break sometime. I think that was indicative of the whole episode. It kind of set the... The, the set the tone for the whole episode of, you know, shit's going to happen, ha you know, happen, it's going to hit the fan, and, and he, you know. You know, he was really cocky. He really thought that he was going to win and that he was going to go and get him. And Hold that thought. Our little zombie baby wants to be included in this, our little skeleton guy. This is Phoenix, right here. He's the one that crawled out of the crib last time. Yeah. Gareth just thought he was in charge all the way up until um, when they dropped, okay, he, they dropped Bob off at the front of the church, so they knew that they were going to come out and drag him into the church, they knew Bob was going to tell him where he was, they knew the, that uh, the priest there was going to tell him where that was, that they were going to go out and go look for him, so that they could come in and get, uh, get him. Yeah, so but I what mean, they didn't count on was that they didn't go and get him and that they were circling right behind him and coming in behind and him. And somebody said that. And who was it? When R Rick was ready to go out and just get him, somebody says, unless that's what he's wanting us to think kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So they, they had it planned. So Lori Lee called it when we were watching it. It's like, oh, they're going to circle back or it's actually a setup for a setup. So I love the way that that played out. All five of them surround the three in the church and they're like, Oh no, we can work it out. We can leave. We can start over. We can change. <laughs> now, a couple of interesting th uh, points, a couple of questions for you guys on, on what you think. Um, the, the first thing is, is tainted meat. It was never really answered on, is that bad? Is it, will it turn you quicker than, you know, just death itself? So that's a question, hold on. That's a question that needs to be answered. No, they did kind of touch on it. I read that way Exactly, that's what I was thinking. But they did kind of touch on it, though. They, they made the point that they did fully cook it. And, you know, it, it doesn't seem like it would uh, so maybe have it was any just effect. So maybe it's just a mind play. Bob sitting there laughing yeah. and telling, oh, it's tainted. And everybody's like, oh, crap, what's going to happen? It was Bob's last way to mind F him, you know, and have his last laugh. Last okay. laugh, you know, because he didn't know how much longer he had. And he just wanted to mess with their mind. Raise your hand in the comments down below. How many of you guys saw a change in Glenn? Glenn stepping up to kind yeah, of be well, a leader and be his own man aside from away from the group. Yeah, but the, this the Glenn coming in behind him to go get the termites. First of all, you know, um, when they Abraham and Sasha and Rick surrounded the three that were left, Tara oh. and Maggie and Glenn stepped back and just stood there and watched. And they were like, just standing there watching. Hello, these people were going to eat you. Glenn had a bat to the back of his head. And he Why was would next, you right? not? Glenn he was, was next. next. Glenn was next. If those guys were going to do that to me, I would have been over there slashing at him too. <laughs> and he's sitting there, he's just going, oh, wow, Rick is, is cutting him up with a knife. What the? Why are you standing yeah. there like a pussy? Get in there, do something about it. It's almost as if he's got this mindset to go with, you know, to go to DC. And you know, become his own, become his own person. Start making his own choices. Go to DC because he's looking for the greater good. And you know, again, maybe that's falling back on Herschel because Maggie was kind of with him too. You know, in that whole thing. I mean, I realize they're a couple and whatnot, but you know, I, I think that that's what he's looking at. And I think that he saw a little bit of humanity again. Leave Rick, even though I feel that's justified because oh, you know, yeah. Rick, Rick is well. I mean, obviously for the revenge factor, but also them. the the where they're at right now in the apocalypse. They were planning on eating a damn baby. Well, 
Yeah. You know, and then Deal. <laughs> don't eat the baby. You see Tyrese open the church door and watch, you know, watch the slaughtering, and he's like, you know, like how could you be doing this? They were going to eat you, you stupid. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's like, but then he goes in and tells Sasha, you know, oh, you should, you should forgive the termites, and she's like, are you effing kidding me? You know, they just killed my man, and they were gonna eat us. And he's like, oh, well, we can't do anything about it. You have to make your own decision. <laughs> All righty then. Strong opinion, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm with Sasha. I would have sliced the hell out of him. At the very end of the episode, uh, who comes walking out of the woods? Well, Daryl. Right. Who is he calling for out of the woods? And it's got to be Morgan. It has to be Morgan. Um, obviously, we saw, you know, the previews that Beth Carol is okay. Carol wouldn't have waited. She could, I mean, if they're sitting there in the bushes and they see... Michonne walking towards him with the with the uh, sword, oh, and Daryl comes walking out. Carol would have been right by his side, you know. Mm -hmm. But of course, Morgan's gonna s sit back. Um, but even though he met her, he met her before in the Claire episode, he met uh, Michonne because it was her and Carl and Rick that were in the Claire episode. Okay. So he knows who Michonne is, so I'm sure he feels comfortable coming out. But now we know what the signs on the trees were right. from the last episode and this one because that's, Gareth said it. We we um, marked our way here and we left um, a path so we could find our way back. Yes, but back, back to, to what? what? So that, you know, again, glass breaking. And, oh, the, the line by Bob, loved it. Uh, he was talking about nightmares. And yeah. what was the line? I have a bad memory. He said it was a really bad nightmare, but it doesn't have to define who you are. But the end of it doesn't have to define who you are. Something to that effect. Something to that effect. I wanted the exact you know verbiage. Because it, 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 it was powerful. It was powerful because it explained exactly, you know, exactly where they're at. You know, you can wake up from your nightmares, but they don't have to define who you are. I think that's what she just said. All right, fine. Go to mom. <laughs> um, yeah, and... Because if you remember in the last episode, Morgan was already following the signs. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously he, he followed them to the church. And then when uh, Daryl probably got, was going back to the church, um, they just kind of ran into him in the woods. Yeah, so the question is, is why did Daryl come back? Where's Carol? What's going on with Beth? Because so. we kind of saw Beth already in, in, in that uh, hospital that's fixed up there. But, I mean... Why is she all cut up, and why does she have shit, shit sucking out of her arms we, and stuff? We can probably assume that she's cut up because of her fight to get away from whoever she was with. That's what I'm thinking. And the and, and it, it wasn't it a cross wasn't... in her window. On the back of the windows, we kept thinking it was a cross. Yeah. It wasn't a cross. What was it? It was the first aid sign. Really? Yeah. I doubled. I, I looked wow. at it. Wow. Okay. At the at the car from the the episode in season four, and this Ooh. and the car from the last episode. It was the first. Wouldn't that be time. weird? Wouldn't that be weird if Abraham and them are headed to D.C. But something's already been kind of solved in D.C. And now they're trying to convert churches and everything because you saw the clip, the the teaser, or whatever. You had a law enforcement officer, or at least someone sitting there in nice clean uniform, not beat up or anything like Rick's would be. And everything looked kind of professional in the church, although you were able, or the church, I'm sorry, the hospital, but you were able to see out and see an apocalyptic, you know, society outside. That'd be funny if everything is starting to possibly, I mean, obviously they can't, you know, make everything better right now, but I don't know, something from D.C., something coming in, doing like doing tests or something hospital. like that. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be interesting to see. All right, guys. So um, comment down below and uh, have an awesome week. We'll see you next time unless you had any final thoughts. I just don't understand Maggie and Glenn, and, and Glenn was the one who stood up and yelled, we are not ever splitting up again. And then they're like, okay, we'll go with you. Hello, you just said it last episode. <laughs> that you're not splitting up. You just found your way back to each other after all these months, and now you're going to say, okay, well, see you later. All right, cool. All no, right, guys. I don't like that. So post everything down in the comments. Happy haunting, and we'll see you next week. Can you say happy haunting? <laughs> say... Say happy hunting, guys. Happy hunting, guys. <laughs> <laughs>